So just imagine this, right? Sammy is a 12-year-old boy, born and raised within a poor family in the Ghanaian region of Volta, famous for its cocoa production. And when Sammy grows up, he wants to become a doctor, his escape route from the prison that is a life of poverty. And it's going to be a hard pat, but Sammy's a bright kid and everyone knows that eventually he can do it. But times are tough right now. Both his mom and his dad work long hours extracting cocoa for some European company that makes billions whilst they barely have enough to put food on the table, sometimes even going hungry themselves so little Sammy can eat. But it's just too much and they just don't have enough money. Which leaves them with a dilemma. I mean, social services in Ghana are just not what they are in Europe. In part due to governance issues, no doubt, but also attributable to the limited economic capacities at the country's disposal. In part due to its history as a colonized nation that saw it pillaged from a litany of resources. But regardless of the reason, Sammy's parents, through no fault of their own, are left with a dilemma. Either tell Sammy that they can no longer afford to buy him books, or that he has to begin working himself so as to continue his studies. A tragic choice to be hoisted with, no doubt, but Sammy's a pragmatic kid. In these regions, you really have no choice but to be. And so he accepts, trusting that his parents will do everything in their power to make sure that he retains the necessary time for his studies, meaning that his dream is still very much alive. And so he begins, working as a child laborer within the vault and cocoa industry, not hired directly by the multinational conglomerate that his parents work for, but instead through local intermediary companies less risk averse to getting caught up in child labor scandals, and that in turn sell their yield to said massive corporation. And so, this becomes Sammy's new normal. 